So about 40 minutes later, we're finally at the out of box experience. Uh, just around the corner. Unfortunately, there's no audio for the out of box. Well, I could just, just, you know. Okay, I'm not gonna do it. So yeah. Okay, uh, maybe I made a slight miscalculation in the video footage. It hasn't happened yet, but we are at the stage of setup, which is uh, the out of box experience. Okay, uh, you know what? Why not I just speed up this editing for you? Yeah, let's just do that. We'll just speed up the uh, waiting process a little bit. Uh, actually, it looks like it's doing something here, so, uh. Never mind, actually. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we've got audio here, but I know why. It's because we are missing the audio driver, which I'm going to install off-camera after we get this out-of-box experience done. This is obviously going to be set to, uh, not right now, but I'm going to deploy, uh, legacy updates so that we can get mm, updates. Uh, I'm going to do that a little later, then. And well, you know what goes here, we're just going to put in one singular username, which is, uh, our name. And now we're good to go. I'm going to go uh, install some drivers, and I'll catch back up in a few days. Oh, but first, the desktop.
Anyway, unnecessary transition later. Uh, we now have a desktop uh, that is here. Also, not to mention, I didn't show this, but the uh, audio driver is working, as you'll we'll hear later on in this video. Anyway, let's start with the main thing of this version of Windows. Windows Media Center. So, when we open this up, we're met with a, a few different options. Play DVD, Online Spotlight, My Videos, My Pictures, My Music, More Programs, and Settings. We also have the option to add more videos to the library, however it seems to automatically do this. There are a few videos I wanted to add, but they did not add, probably because there's MP4 stuff and there's... Your stuff doesn't tend to work properly in XP. Anyway, let's test out the video stuff. Well, it works all right. Now let's go to the pictures library, which I have a mix of different pictures. What kind of confused me a little bit was the fact that it didn't automatically uh, change the picture, which was kind of interesting because I'm kind of used to it automatically changing the picture. I'm not sure if that does it when it's media center because I haven't used it all too much. And, fairly recent time, but yeah. Anyway, if you're wondering how I got these pictures, these were pictures from a summer trip last year. And last but not least, let's get to the music. I've decided to go with the intro song, because well, why not? It's a good song. Anyway, that's almost just about everything. Only other thing I'm going to touch up on is more programs, and that's basically it for Media Center. But there's more content to cover, because that's not the only thing in Windows Media Center Edition. We also have the Windows Dancer, which I do not have the audio working for somehow. Even though this has the audio driver, I cannot get the audio working for the Windows Dancer, unfortunately. It has a few different options, like you can choose it to only dance when the music is playing, and you have other options too, such as you can meet all the dancers or download more of that. Not sure if that later one actually still works though. Anyway, it is a simple, straightforward program, and I can actually see a bit of similarity between it and a desktop body featuring the Nami Dome that I'm going to show here quite briefly. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Anyway, let's move on to the next thing. Windows Party Mode. This is more so of like a, a jukebox that you'd play if you had like guests over. Now, of course, given me, I usually don't have guests over and I don't usually host parties, so well, guess this is useless for me. What we also have is Windows CD Label Maker. Uh, I don't really have any CDs, and it seems that it also requires a printer, which I do not have, so, well, yeah, this is useless, I guess. 
What we also have is Windows Audio Converter, which allows us to convert audio from like MP3 or so to WMA. I don't know why you would want to convert a more open format to a proprietary format, but well, hey, it's there if you want to. Other than that, it's your pretty average version of Windows. Got a special theme, got some special programs that you could still get if you want to get Microsoft Plus for XP and one of the versions. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, that will basically wrap it up for this week's video. Thanks for watching. I will see you next week. Bye!